Welcome to the So Verve Lounge, a podcast for modern entrepreneurs that focuses on digital marketing ecosystems for small businesses. Join your host, CEO and marketing director, Stephanie Rubio, as she brings you marketing tips with a shot of Cafe Con Dulce. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of the Silver Lounge. My name is Stephanie Rubio. I am the CEO and Marketing Director here at Silver Marketing Group, bringing you this week's episode. And I am so excited to be bringing you this episode because today we are going to have a conversation about overwhelm and about burnout and about feeling tired. It could be because you're feeling uncreative. It could be because you're feeling unsupported. It could be feeling that you're unmotivated, misunderstood. There are so many reasons why you would want to take a break from feeling overwhelmed or because you're feeling overwhelmed. And so I wanted to have this conversation because earlier this month, from the 2nd of May to the 20th of May, we did just that. We took a break. We took a break from marketing the business. We took a break from advertising the business because there were some things on the back end that I I needed to figure out and really pinpoint and really get right. Now, let me kind of paint this picture. When I launched Silver back in 2016, February of 2016, I had a really strong vision. I knew exactly what we wanted. I knew exactly how this was going to look like 5, 10, 15 years from now. And that vision really hasn't changed much. The way to get there has changed a lot though. Okay. So notice how I said that the goal has not changed. The objectives really haven't changed much, but the way to get there has changed massively because I really thought that I was going to be able to um, stay a solopreneur for a very long time. And that has not been the case. I haven't stayed a solopreneur for much long, for much long, (laughs) for a long time. Um, Really, I want to say about a year in, I noticed strongly, okay, I'm going to have to hire a team. I'm I'm not going to be able to do this alone. I need help and I need it quickly. And so then came the the opportunity for me to start hiring and start looking for those ideal team members. Now, that part of the situation, if you will, was very difficult. It took me a while to find the right people. And I'm happy to report that I have. I have a group of women that are absolutely amazing. Our local team here on Central Florida is wonderful. We have a West Coast team. um, And then we have the rest of our team members scattered all over the world. And they are all amazing and wonderful. And I just adore all of them. They have made my job so much easier. So much so that starting this year, January of this year, We began the journey of onboarding literally people who were right there, um, right there par with our ideal client wish list, if you will. People who understood our brand mission, who understood our vision and our values, who valued our work, who valued our efforts, who valued the education that we were bringing to them and their own team and their own businesses and supported our efforts by um, purchasing into our services and buying into our services on different scales. But definitely people that I can say now, this is our audience. This is the people that we were meant to service. And it's taken a while for us to get here. Now, we've been going a little extra harder than normal. Um, Specifically, you know, people think that once you hire a team, you slow down. And that is not the case. You actually work harder because what ends up happening is that now you have all this free time and now you start to see gaps in other areas of your business that you want to start fixing. You need to keep yourself busy. There's a lot of networking that takes place. There's a lot of one-on-ones that take place. Um, for us, we have increased the time that our clients can spend with us as well. So I've been in strategy sessions and consultations um, a lot more than normal as well. So there's been a lot of things happening behind the scenes that while a lot of things have been taken off my hands, 
I've taken on um, a little bit of a different role. Um, I'm not there yet where I can, you know, where I can say as the CEO, I'm doing CEO operational things only. I'm not there yet, but I want to say it's about 80% there, which is a massive difference from what I was doing in 2018 and 2017. And even the investments that we're making now, they're aligned much better with the end goal of how we want our agency to continue to grow and expand in the future. So what ended up happening, if we want to go back to April, I just felt very overwhelmed because of all of that. There was There's this huge influx of work. There's this huge influx of clients. And I started feeling very, very overwhelmed. And I thought, go instead of going into the month and actually pushing through, I'm going to listen to my body. Because that's another thing that, that was really um, feeling, I was feeling very evident that my body was feeling tired. I My brain just could not... Um, get creative. I cannot get into a place of creativity. And so as someone who is led by all things creative first, I thought this is going to be the best choice. And it was. I took some time to revamp some processes and systems. I took some time to have conversation with our legal counsel. I took some time to have conversation with our team, meet with our team, um, and just really uh, fellowship with people in my life that really nourish my spirit and really replenish my energy. And I spent a lot of time in meditation, a lot of time in prayer, and it was just absolutely wonderful. Uh, Then my husband said, you know what, now that you're going to be taking this break, why don't we go away? And we decided to take a small little staycation for a couple days in South Florida. And let me tell you, it was just what the doctor ordered. And so now we're back. Now we're back full force. The team is prepping for all things June. So you're going to start seeing a lot of content rollout that is geared towards summer marketing. You're going to see a lot of the uh, content that we had for spring um, going to be uh, finalized because we are now moving into the summer marketing season and we need to start having those conversations so that you can start getting ready and prepared. So I just wanted to touch base with you and tell you this. As much as myself and other marketer strategists business consultants tell you that you need to be consistent in your business. You need to start thinking about what that actually looks like. What does consistency actually look like? What does that mean? What does it mean to be consistent? Are we talking about consistently posting or are we talking about consistently doing things that are going to propel your business forward? Because marketing your business without um, the creativity behind it, without the fun, energetic feel behind it is going to feel very much like a job. And that's why so many people quit. And then right there in May, I felt myself feeling that pull. And I thought, wait a minute, this is new. I've never felt this before. I was always so in tuned with, you know, we've taken these breaks before. I will say, let me back up and say, I will, I have taken these breaks before. So Verf has taken these breaks on social media before, but this was intentional. This was very much a set It was scheduled in our calendar. We had spoken to the clients that we needed to speak to about it. The team knew what was going on. The vendors that we had, um, for example, we have our web design team, and then we have a logo and graphic design team, for example. They needed to know what was going on as well because we were pausing the efforts of sending, you know, potential clients or customers over to them. So we needed to tell them. We knew they needed to know what was going on. And let me tell you, it was phenomenal. It was spectacular to just be able to say, you know what? We will be back when we are back. And I had originally scheduled 15 days and it ended up being 20 days or so. Um, yeah, it ended up being 15 to 20 days. I want to say about 18 days where we, we were just completely um, off of social. And it was wonderful, like I said. And so I encourage you to do that. Um, as much as all of us tell you to stay consistent, think about what that means. Because if you are working behind the scenes and you are being consistent, you're taking care of your clients, you're generating leads through multiple um 
streams okay so again this is why all of those different marketing avenues are so important this is why you want to stay consistent with your network because you cannot rely on just one platform if you burn out a platform what happens then thankfully for us we have um a list we do have um a list of people that you know they're still wanting to work with us and we continue to nurture them until they either they are ready to work with us or we're ready to move forward with working and offering them a, um, a quote and a contract and so that's what we did and it was wonderful it was amazing and it allowed me the opportunity to then focus on really breaking through the barrier that I, of what I was feeling and so again I want to encourage you to do the same so while this is a shorter episode I want to say um, thank you so much for allowing us the opportunity to do that to take the time that we needed in order to get all those pieces right our podcast schedule is going to resume as normal every um, Thursday. We have moved from Tuesday over to Thursdays now at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are going to continue to host our monthly interview series with other marketers and strategists and consultants in order to help you with all of your marketing efforts. As always, if you want to reach us, you can. We are anywhere on social media at Silver. That's S-O-V-E-R-V-E. Simply search for us and you will find us. We're on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, all the nine. And if you have any questions regarding this episode or if you have any questions regarding marketing, please refer to our email at hello at silver.com. All of that information is going to be in the show notes so that you can reach out to us as well as a link to how to get on our email list. So thank you so much again, like I said, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I will see you back here next week. Bye.